so, so many of us use Calendly day to day. I have always send it to prospective clients to say, basically book in on my calendar schedule. You will get a follow up. We'll hop on a call, blah, blah, blah. A lot of people also like to embed Calendly onto their website. I have tons of clients who've done it and basically it goes something like this. They ask me, Sam, I have Calendly. How do I put it onto the site? I want people to be able to see it and not have to go over to Calendly. This is personal preference because I like to personally send people to my Calendly. I don't like really to have it on the site, but lots of people do, lots of people have it embedded. So they ask me, okay, how do I do it? I say, okay, go onto Calendly, get your embed code, send it to me, I will do the rest. But if you're watching this, you're probably not my client. So I'm gonna show you start to finish exactly how to do it. Okay, so to add Calendly into your website on Squarespace, what we wanna do is have obviously our Squarespace site up, and then also we wanna go into Calendly. So we've got them both ready. First off, what we wanna do is go into edit, and we wanna create a section whereby we're gonna stick the embed code. So let's say we make this section and we put in a contact template like so. Then instead of a contact form, we're just gonna delete this. We're gonna add a block, say embed, and then we're gonna just size that down here like so. So we'll put that in. Okay, now we're ready. So we'll save that and then we'll go over to Calendly. So we go to Calendly. I assume you're gonna have your Calendly account set up. If you haven't got that set up, get it set up. Then you need to create your actual event type. So mine here is a 15 minute call. We wanna click into that. And then what we need to do obviously is specify, get everything set up. Then once you're happy with that, we wanna click share. And then what we wanna do is go to add to website. And then I never really go for the widget or the text. It's always the inline embed. So we click this and then we click continue. Then it's gonna give you this code. If you have Calendly Pro, which I don't, then you can basically just change all of this. I don't see the need to be honest. So we'll grab this code. We'll go over to our embed block. And what we'll do is we'll go to code snippet, embed data, and simply just paste it in there. And then when we hit save and exit, you can see our Calendly form has been added in. Now what we can do, you can see it's gone down a bit here. What we can do is customize this. So if we go into edit and we know where the top of the form is now. So realistically, I'll probably just get rid of that. And then we can move this all the way up and then maybe bring this down. And what I would do just to customize is just put a nice little gray background in, hit save, and we'll see where we are with the styling. You can play around with this. It's completely up to you how you play it. So I'm just gonna blow this up and you can see our Calendly is now in. What we can do if we're still not happy with the sizing is go back into edit and then we can actually double click on the form again, embed data, and we have values in here. So the minimum width is set to 320 pixels. I'm happy with that. I don't want it to be any wider or any shorter, but the height I'm not quite happy with. So I can set this to, let's say 850. Hit save, go out and I'll see where we're at. So for me there, I am probably happier with how that looks now. I'll probably tidy up that padding, but apart from that, it allows people to quickly scroll down, book in for an appointment, fantastic. And it's honestly as simple as that. I kind of went around the houses with that tutorial, but honestly, it should take you like 30 seconds maximum. And if you found this useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.